In this workbook, I have yellow cells where I've used data validation to create a drop down list, and this is based on a list on another sheet called Numbers List. If I select one of these cells, I can see the drop down handle and select one of these numbers. So I'll select one there and two here. This workbook also has some programming in it so that I can select multiple items. In most cases, if I selected a different number here, it would just overwrite that existing number. But the code that's in this workbook lets me select another number here. It separates the two with a comma and a space and just adds it at the end of whatever is currently in the cell. I've added a new feature to this so that we can remove items. We have two, three, and four already selected. If I go back and select three again, it's going to remove it from that string. It looks for the letters that we've just selected. If it finds them, it then removes that string plus the comma and the space at the end of it. If the characters are at the end of the string, there's no comma or space following, so it would just remove those items. And we'll just take a quick look at the code. So if I go into the view code, looks at the new value you have selected from the list, then it undoes that so it goes back to the old value and puts the new value back in. So now we have both the old and the new values stored in our code so we can use those strings to test things. We then check to see if you've just cleared the cell or if there was nothing in there before then we don't have to do anything in the code. It'll just leave the cell empty or just put in the new item. But then we check to see if you've previously selected it. So we try to find the new value within the old value. And if it does find that, it comes up with a number here as to where that string starts. If that's greater than zero, then we check the end of the string. And if it's equal to your new value, we know that item was at the very end of what was in the cell. So we just remove that, plus we go back two characters and take off the comma and the space that are before that last item. Otherwise, we go to that item and the comma and space that follow it and replace all of that with an empty string. If it doesn't find the new selection within what's already in the cell, then it just puts it at the end with a comma and space before it. If you'd like to see the code or download the sample workbook, you can go to my website and there should be a description below this video with a link to the page on the Contextures website.